Okay, let me talk a little bit more about how to approach your classes. Um, because what I'm seeing is some concern about the fact that I've described it as a, a very precise science, you know? And so for those of you just getting started, particularly adults, this is kind of more aimed for adult students, by the way. Um, I know there's a concern about getting it right the first time and, and getting the correct order and working the program the most correct way possible. And I, and I appreciate that way of thinking. I understand it, believe me. But here's how I would like you to approach it. Think about approaching it this way. You have to understand that our bodies are very malleable, you know, e even at some age. They're very, very malleable. I mean, if you just look at this photo before and after of Setlana, so this is three years of training, you know, and so the, she just looks like a different person. I've gotten that comment. People, some people don't even believe it's the same person. Okay, but let me explain how she got there, how we got there. This malleability is a question of solving the puzzle of your own body, okay? And our bodies are just n not that much different from one another. There's differences here and there, but the, the beauty of placement is that it pretty much works equally with everyone. It's just a question of time and consistency, and that's the key. So how Svetlana went from this to this is just a little bit every day just a little bit every single day. Not every single day, but most days, right? So it's, it's consistency that gets the job done. This is true for everything in life. I think those of us who, who, worked, who have worked you know, and work real jobs understand that. It's a little bit every day. Now, the reason I gave you six videos, plus the, the six hour one, instead of just one or two, what I would like you to do is not be that concerned about the order of the videos or, or how right or wrong way to go about it, it that isn't really the, the, the way to, to start this. I just want you to, to just, just begin is what's important. It doesn't matter which one. Um, so for example, if you're comfortable downloading all of them, that's what I would recommend you do and then just start looking at it. Just look at it first. You don't even have to start doing it physically in the first minute. Just kind of get a nice overview, you know? Look at it, consider it, think about it a little bit. Then try Misha's class or try Setlana's classes. You know, look at the technical um, demonstrations and then just start playing with it. I would like you to look at this as a time to play, right? And this is uh, one thing about raising children, how important playing is, not just socially with each other, but playing with um, objects and items and building things with their hands and you know figuring out how their body works and how you navigate the world physically right um, so I would like you to to maybe approach this in the mindset of just playing just play a little bit you're not going to get hurt you're not going to get injured nothing bad's going to happen and by that I mean give it a few weeks give it a month and just kind of work with it and send me your questions and then we'll kind of get the dialogue going and then the, there is a very specific program in place already right for teachers for students for professional dancers wherever you are at in, in, in the world of ballet there is a specific program there is a qualification to it so that you you get a um, so we're used to talking about this in terms of like teacher certification I just don't like the certification word I like qualification. You're a qualified professional, qualified practitioner, qualified scholar. That's, that's the, the top level, right? So we have, you have practitioner and professional, professional practitioner and scholar. So these are the levels. So you're going to get all of that, okay, for sure. So uh, those of you that, let's say you want to open up your own school, maybe you want to open up a, a Ballet Conrad branded school or something. That, that's all in the works. That's all there. This very first step, I would just like you to, to play with the information without, um, for a moment, focusing on the end result, right? Now, I do want to give you some advice about how to best present your questions to me, because I'm getting a lot of them now, and I, and I want to do my best to answer them. So if you have a specific question, you know, like, because what's going to happen is, as you begin to do this, you're going to feel sensations in your body that you've not felt before, ever, right? And I can best describe them 
as it's kind of like subtle growing pains. I don't know if you remember what that felt like, but it's, so it's not pain like an injury, but it's definitely a sensation that's uncomfortable at times, you know, and you're going to feel it in your hips and your knees and things. But this doesn't mean that it's leading to an injury or anything like that. It's just turnout is a serious, it's a, <laughs> turnout is a serious endeavor. It's, it's, a, it's a whole body redesign, starting with the hips. And the hips are, is a complex uh, instrument, let's say, or machinery. It's very, very complex. If you look at sort of an uh, internal, like an MRI view of the hips, there's a lot going on there. A lot of things move, and it affects everything below the hips and above the hips. So you're going to feel some strange things, and it doesn't mean that something's going wrong. But if you are concerned and it's understandable and you should always err on the side of caution. Always send me the question. You know, if you feel like, well, something's not feeling right, but I need to see it. I must see it in order to give you useful feedback. And I just, I, I do want to explain one thing to you. When I'm analyzing movement, as I will when you send me your stuff, I approach, it is a profession, you understand? So I approach it the way a doctor would look at an MRI or something like that. I'm not concerned with, you know, the background, whatever, your house, how it looks. We're all doing kitchen ballet right now, you know, bedroom ballet, whatever. You know, we're, we're all doing it in our place where we live. No big deal. I, I'm not concerned with, with how you appear or, or any of that. You know, what you wear or... None of that makes any difference. I'm looking at... For the purposes of giving you really useful information, I'm looking at your body as kind of an instrument that we're creating, that we're crafting like a violin, you know, that's how I look at it. So if you can believe me that that's how I'm looking at it and, and try not to, I'm just not judging you, you understand? I'm just not, I just don't have that chip, that judgmental, no. I'm just wanting to get you the most accurate information I can as efficiently as possible so that you can get it into your body and just keep moving forward, okay? So, yeah. That's the best way to, to present your questions. But you obviously don't have to. I'm not saying you must do that. I'm just saying for me to answer a specific question about your body and how it feels and how it's moving, I definitely need to see it. But if you're not comfortable with that, that's okay. Give it some time. Take as much time as you need. Work things through. And, you know, still send me your question. I'll do the best I can. But I... <laughs> difficult for me to give advice without seeing it. You know, so do the best you can. Let me know how you feel. We can work through it. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay? All right.